Hello, I am Lilia, a process mining consultant at T1A. In this demo, I will demonstrate how process mining technology, combined with the capabilities of a Microsoft Power Platform, can reveal inefficiencies in the accounts payable process and drive process improvements. Let's start with the executive dashboard. It's a standard dashboard where we can track the company's performance. One of the key metrics is late payment rate. We notice that the company's late payment rate is 44%, and on some days it reaches 60%. This is concerning because consistent late payments can impact supply relationships and result in missed cash discount. In our case, the missed cash discount is $53 million. We see that there are discrepancies in the process, but we don't understand what stands behind these numbers. We need to go on a more detailed level and look at every step of a process. And that's where process mining helps us. To analyze the process, we extract the data from the source systems and upload it to the process mining tool. This is a process map, a full digital twin of the accounts payable process. And we can track invoices from the step vendor creates invoice to the step clear invoice. And we also have two due dates, payment due date and cash discount due date. However, these are only the most common process paths. We can add more steps, activities and paths to discover the deviations from our standard process. So usually the real life looks like this. It's complex and inefficient. But let's go back to our late payment rate. As I can see on the process map, there are invoices where clear invoice step happens after due date passed. This actually our invoices with late payments. Let's filter on them. So now we see all the invoices with late payments. And if I add more activities, I see that uh, almost 20% of invoices go through the step set payment block. Let's switch to duration. And I also see on the process map that this single step prolongs our process by over a month. So uh, these blocks are automatically set in the system due to three-way mismatches and require manual removal and often result in delayed payments. And let's compare vendors with late payments. So we've identified two vendors with a significant number of invoices experiencing late payments. And they also have high number of invoices going through the step set payment block. So by focusing only on these two vendors and removing payment blocks for them, we can save almost $6 million over a two month period. Now we know the root cause for late payments. The next step is to improve our process. Uh, here, for example, we can create a simple automation using the capabilities of Power Platform. So here's an example of uh, automation that checks over invoices and if the final step is set payment block and we are approaching due date, then automation will extract the list of invoices and send a notification to a responsible employee. And let's imagine that we implemented this simple automation. After that, we can go back to our executive dashboard and compare processes before and after automation to understand if our solution was sustainable and improved the process. Let's recap. 
we have seen inefficiencies in accounts payable process. Then we analyzed the process map and discovered root cause like payment blocks. Then created a simple automation to tackle this inefficiency in the future. And finally, we monitored process performance after implementing an automation. So that's it. Now you know how process mining on Power Platform looks like. Thank you for your attention.